All right, so origin access identity is a legacy method to ensure that an S3 bucket is only accessed through CloudFront and not directly via the internet. So here is kind of our diagram here. And the idea is that you can see that if we try to attempt to access the bucket based on its, let's say it's a static website and it has the static website endpoint, we should not be able to reach it uh, because the bucket policy would not allow anything other than from our OAI. Um, the OAI uh, is basically a special CloudFront user and it will be granted access in the S3 bucket policy. So it ends up having this really long arm. So if you look at the principle, we set AWS and it says CloudFront user. It's the only thing that this CloudFront user is used for is for this. And then we have to write CloudFront origin access identity and then the ID here. Um, the limitations, it's not supporting uh, granule policy configurations, does not sign HTTP and HTTPS requests um, that needs to utilize signature version four. And uh, there are regions where it's expected. So like you basically are forced to um, use signature version four. So OAIs are just not gonna work. Does not integrate with SSE KMS. Only, uh, it's only supported in existing AWS regions and, and regions before December, 2022, okay? So there are limitations uh, and that all has to do with signature version four. But uh, there's a newer solution called Origin Access Controls, which we'll look here in a moment, that is just easier to use um, and what you should use going forward, okay?